Okay, here we are in 3ds Max, and this is the model I'll be taking into ZBrush. Okay, we're just going to delete all the stuff we don't need. Okay, that is our base model in 3ds Max. Okay, first we're going to export it as an object file. And let's just put it under head. Yes, and just leave it like that. Okay, next we're going to take it into ZBrush. Okay, here we are in ZBrush and we click on important OBJ file. Go to head and here we have the head. I'll press X for symmetry modeling and go to geometry, divide maybe five times. Okay, I'll just quickly um, put in some details. Okay, and now we'll go to the lower subdivision level, go down to texture, and choose either GUV tiles or AUV tiles. I'll go with AUV tiles for now. Go into Z Mapper, and there's our model, preview high resolution level. That looks about right. Go to normal and cavity map and create normal map. And just leave it to do its normal map thing. That looks good. And we'll exit Z Mapper. And there you can see your normal map applied to the model. We'll go up to export and export this as head normal and the Z texture should already be exporting with it. Okay, we're here on the desktop. Now we have to select head normal and open it with paint or any program of your choice. We'll go to image and flip rotate, flip vertical. Okay, that should fix everything. Pr press control S to save it and that's all we have to do in paint. Okay, we're here back in 3ds Max and we're going to import our 3D model from ZBrush. Okay, go to OBJ and head normal. Okay, import it exactly like you see it here. With geometry options, all of them selected except center pivot. Okay, and go OK. Convert to editable poly just to get rid of those triangles and may as well put a smoothing group on it. Okay, here's our model from ZBrush. Now, I'll press M to get up the Maps menu. Go into the Maps, select Bump, and select Normal Bump. Okay, for the Normal, we'll go back and select our um, Normal that we flipped over in Paint, so this one. As you can see here, it looks pretty wonky. We'll apply it to the model just to see how it looks first. And yes, the tangents are quite weird. That's much better there, as you can see. Rotate around the model and you can look at it from any angle. 
and there's the normal map applied to the 3D model. Now, for example, if you want to add additional bump, you can just select this one underneath normal and you can add in a displacement map or whichever a map of your choice. Or alternatively, you could add another normal bump because you that's a selection. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial.